1979's Mad Max is just about to be 40 years old. It is an awesome f a film, and let's start the review. Yes, it's been many years since 1979, and man, have things have changed. Um, but one thing we do remember from that year is that th this big hit film, starring Lethal Weapon man Mel Gibson and director George Miller, is one of the best action fil films in a dystopia future I've seen. And I've seen a lot. <laughs> uh, the movie set, uh, is set literally a few years from now. That's what it, this, the sign said. Uh, and it is a world that is a dystopia where things are, people are very crazy. And a lot of people wear leather. And police have trouble dealing with all the chaos. But one man, one man in his car, the Interceptor, can make justice. And that man's name is Max. And he can catch anyone. He's a hard worker, family man, family man with wife, wife and child. But when biker gang, led by a bunch of crazy people, called the Night Riders, come into town, they kill his, they kill Mad Max's wife, and Nora Max becomes Mad Max and starts killing them. Very harshly. Fun fact about this film is that the very own director, George Miller, raised the money, all the money for this film, by working as a doctor at a hospital. In conclusion, Mad Max 1979 is a really good film. Mel Gibson's awesome. Cars are cool. Biker gangs aren't bad. Bad, and I'm Scott Smith, and thank you all for watching. See you next Sunday.